the alternative rock band shared their first new song since 2022 on Friday. The Killers have released their first new song of 2023, and they're ready to get fans grooving. The alternative rock band Drop Your Side of Town, out via Island Records, on Friday. It marks their latest release since the group fronted by Brandon Flowers shared Boy in 2022. The new track finds the Las Vegas group returning to their synth-heavy roots. The song, produced by the band along with Stuart Price and Sean Everett, basks in new wave-inspired synths, begging the listener to dance. Both desire and heartache pulsate throughout the song, as Flowers, 42, is nearly spinning out, still pining for a former lover who's moved on. I'm hanging on your side of town slash I notice when you're not around slash can't keep my cool, I'm burning inside slash a broken heartbeat, barely alive, the shot at the night singer wails in highly produced vocals over the synth-pop chorus. Last year's boy was led by euphoric keys, but still carried a hint of the group's recent heartland rock sound. The song charted on Billboard's Hot Rock and Alternative Songs chart. The Mr. Brightside musicians are currently on tour, playing a run of festival dates. After performances in the UK and Ireland in late August and early September, they'll return to North America to play festivals such as Bourbon and Beyond, Life is Beautiful and Ohana Festival, as well as several headlining solo shows on the West Coast. While the Killers didn't make an official stop at Glastonbury in the UK, Brandon Flowers did surprise fans by appearing on stage with festival headliner Elton John in June. The music legend, 76, and Flowers performed a sincere duet of John's 1971 classic, Tiny Dancer. It was a special set, both because a couple got engaged in the crowd during the performance and because the Candle and the Wind singer-songwriter shared that it may have been his final performance in England. The Killers thrilled one 67-year-old fan in particular at their Manchester concert in June who was slightly injured while crowd surfing. After stopping the show to make sure he was alright, Flowers shared a laugh and hug with him. The Grammy nominees later shared a photo of the Read My Mind singer meeting with the fan after the show on social media, captioning the post, There's no age limit for rock and roll. In August, the group made headlines after they invited a Russian fan on stage to play their song for reasons unknown in the country of Georgia, which is still occupied by Russia in several territories. The killers then issued an apology on Facebook. Good people of Georgia, it was never our intention to offend anyone. We have a long-standing tradition of inviting people to play drums and it seemed from the stage that the initial response from the crowd indicated that they were okay with tonight's audience participation member coming on stage with us, the statement said. The band continued, we recognize that a comment, meant to suggest that all of the killer's audience and fans are brothers and sisters, could be misconstrued. We did not mean to upset anyone and we apologize. We stand with you and hope to return soon.